Hello, my name is Michael Keneally and I'm talking about an issue within my worldwide runes course. And the website is www.runepath.com and there's a hyphen between rune and path. Now there's a very dedicated group in Latvia following the course. And they've sent in a question, is there a good day and a bad day for doing rune candle work? Where you try and send out the energy of a particular rune in your life by drawing it on a candle and burning the candle. Okay, let's look at this day of the week thing. It's very, very ancient. The runes were the alphabet of the ancient Norse and the Germanic people. And they are but one of the many Indo-European peoples who spread out from the Black Sea area, trading and conquering, and using their superior weaponry of iron, which led to superior agricultural skills. And so they, they got to the Norse lands, to Britain, to Ireland, to Spain, and of course into northern India. Now I've studied Vedic astrology a lot, and they have a great spirituality of the day of the week. They believe firmly that you should always start your week with Sunday, bringing in the energy of the sun. And they don't like modern diaries, which start the week on a Monday. And almost across all the Indo-European languages, so that's um, Sanskrit, um, Latin, Greek, Gaelic, etc. Uh, each day of the week has the name of a god. And so the idea was that you attune to a particular god's energy on each day of the week. And of course there are seven days in a week. And four weeks makes a lunar month, roughly. And indeed there's a wonderful astrology of the uh, lunar signs in Vedic astrology. But the strange thing about the Norse is they didn't apparently have a god for Saturday. Now whether it's just that we don't know about it, or they didn't have one, I don't know. What we do know was written down in a very, very early Christian era. And so much had been lost. And maybe there was a god ruling Saturday, I'm sure there must have been. But the manuscripts available talk about bath day before Sunday. Hmm don't believe it myself. But this raises the question is, is it natural or artificial to say that a day is ruled by the energy of a god? I mean, I know of one legalistic Vedic astrologer who says married women shouldn't go out on a Thursday. That is form, not essence. Is there a natural sort of sequence of energies which we're caught up with and should honour? Or... Should we be attuned to our own rhythms and our own energies and therefore only do rune work, rune magic even, of the sort that we need, of the sort that expresses and heals the challenges of the moment? It's interesting when you work through the runes that so often challenges come up relevant to each rune letter you're working with. So when you work with the first rune, Feu, issues of wealth and what wealth means to you come up big time in your life. When you work with the second rune, Uros, issues of your strength come up. Maybe you'll face great challenge. Learn about what you can and can't handle. Learn about how to handle things and what you need. And so on. So I'm not at all sure that it's right to have a set day of the week for magical healing and empowerment work. I feel it's probably more important to be attuned to the true issues that are going on in your life. So have a look at the website and get in touch with me for my wonderful worldwide distance room course. Thank you.